It was fun to get away for a little while, but it was sitting there at home all summer and pitching to get back. Where do you see your team in this thing? Do you see it as a favorite? As a, I don't know, first, uh, I don't know, 50% of the people? Where do you see it? Well, I think we have a really competitive hockey team. We got a great club. We got a, we got a really tight club. So you know, I think we gotta we gotta be looking at ourselves as you know one of the one of the better teams in the Eastern Conference. How do you deal with the pressure to be a really good season? Uh, I just gotta you know it's the same as last year. I had to, I had to have a good season last year. So you know you never come into a season expecting to have a bad one. So you just gotta come in with a positive attitude. Well, you feel like you got sort of a recipe for success that you got to grab on. Yeah, I think so. Over the last few years, I've been able to really figure out how to balance myself as far as you know, working points. Um, Mentally, this summer, Kerry. I mean, you know, you, you kind of touched on it, but it had to it had to affect the way that you were able to approach things. You're signed. You have a contract. You didn't last summer. You had that whole stuff with you know having the trade and everything. How did it affect your day to day life? Just not having those two things weighing on you all summer. Oh, uh, well, it made uh, it made things a little easier. You know, I didn't have to think about it. Obviously, I didn't have something lingering in the back of my mind coming into the season this year. I was just, you know, I just had to had to rest and not have to worry about anything and just come come prepared for this year. So, you know, not having anything to worry about is a lot easier. What was your thoughts when they signed Peter Budai? I did talk to Peter. He's a really nice guy. <laughs> It's hard, to, you know. He's everybody I've ever talked to throughout the league that's played with him has nothing but confidence. You know, he's a he's a really really nice guy. And we get along really well. You know, we have a lot of the same a lot of the same beliefs and stuff. So it's really awesome. Is that the first time you met him? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I guess you can't wait to see Markov and Black on the ice with you. Yeah, it'll be awesome. You know. Both of those guys are, are really big parts of our team, and uh, we're looking forward to having them back. Yeah, are you confident that both of them will be ready for uh, the start of the season? Or? Really confident. You know, this, uh, okay. Okay, I guess. Yeah, they, uh, you know, they're uh, they're both doing really well. Um, you know, those, like I said, those are two really big parts of our. our D row, you know, those uh, Josh and Marky. Marky is such an offensive talent, and Josh does what he does. You know, we can't uh, can't afford to have more. We both stuck in terms of number of games we're going to play this year. You want to play more? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to play. So you know, whatever whatever Jacques has planned for us, you know, I'd imagine that he will sit down before the season starts and uh, and go over what what the plan is for the season. Gary, how do you think your buddy Josh will do with two knees this year? Hopefully that's twice as good. <laughs> People say that uh, if the team wants to have success in the NHL, they, they need to have a very strong and good coach in. Do you feel that that is the case? Could you have a chance up twice again with your performance? Yeah, well, it's, uh, you know, goaltending is a pretty important uh, position. So, you know, at the end of the day, I have to play well. And also, my team has to play well. You know, I'm going to go on with the, with the, it's a team game. But, yeah, you know, goaltending is important. And, you know, but I still need, I still need a lot of support out there. Kerry, last spring, Scott Gomez basically apologized to the team and went public with his hell of year. Mark of coming back. Yeah, absolutely. They're, uh, like I said, they're really... They're really big parts of our lineup, and not only our line, like uh, as far as in the room, you know, Marky, well, both of them have that le that veteran leadership. They've they've been in in this organization for you know a few years now, so they know they know what's expected of us. Kerry, what did you miss the most, and what did you miss the least being away from hockey this offseason? Um, I just miss playing hockey. Like you know, for the first uh, for the first couple months, I put away my equipment and don't look at it. So you know, I think it must have been about the middle of July that I pulled out my equipment and really wanted to start playing again so um, I definitely miss the hockey the most. Uh, How tough was it to see the Bruins uh, lifting up the Stanley Cup? Uh, you know what um, it, it's always tough to watch another team win just because uh, you know you're jealous first um, but you know of all the guys that, that, that would have won the cup I think uh, you know I think Tim really deserved it the way he played all season so you know I felt like it was it was justified so you know we got over it <laughs> thank you